I want to talk a little bit about social media today and for everyone who um, is enjoying or desires to leverage social media, which I think we should be doing, everyone should be doing, uh, to build your live good business, at least connect with people. Um, there are four specific areas that I want you to focus on. So let's just say that you've got 30 minutes, right? Let's say you've got an hour, whatever you have allocated for your live good business. You want to break your social media time up into these four quadrants. They don't have to be equal time, right? It's going to be 15, 15, 15, 15, but you need to decide as you get going um, how you want to handle it. But these are the four areas that you need to be aware of, of your actions, as Dr. Aaron said, your productivity, right? Um, so number one, your, your ability to be a, a social listener, right? What is a social listener? A social listener is essentially like when you're going out and you're scrolling, right? But you're scrolling with purpose, in other words, right? You're scrolling, you're looking for something, you're, you're actually reading content. When you find someone that posts something of value that you align with, you actually comment, you actually respond, right? You're listening, i.e. watching technically, but you're, you're watching as you're listening for things that stand out. So there needs to be a certain period of your time where that's what you're doing, right? You're, you're on a social listening, um, path at that point in time, right? The second area would be your social influencing, right? So you're going to listen and watch and do other things for other people, but then you're influencing. In other words, what are you contributing to social media? What content are you posting that's useful and value for other people? How are you sharing live good with others? How are you influencing them to take a look, right? I think Curry shared something earlier about the, the lady that made her post and was like, hey, I'm not trying to do this. I'm not trying to do that, but I got a video to change her life. That's the way she's choosing to influence people to reach out. So you need to have an influencer period of time where you're contributing. The third thing would be your social networking. Now, social networking would be you actually reaching out to and speaking to people that are on social media, not necessarily on the walls where you're doing your listening, but maybe in the DMs where you can have more conversations specifically about live good, specifically about products, specifically about uh, an opportunity, right? Specifically about something where you're meeting people and everybody that you meet is not going to be as gung-ho about live good as we are. I know everybody wants to think that, but they're not. So your ability to network, continue to social influence, right? And to the social listen will at least engage them and the right person will eventually have to come back around, right? Because it's just a natural thing to do. And then the fourth thing would be your social selling, right? Your ability to generate the leads, your ability to convert people and, you know, get them to the video where they become pre-enrollees and your ability to work through that process because you guys know not every single pre-enrollee actually upgrades. So there's something there that can be done, right? You can continue to communicate with those people. You can continue to provide value to them, invite them to the cause, invite them to, you know, whatever is happening in the live good society. But what are some things that you're doing that you can invite people to engage with you in? So again, those four areas, the four quadrants, social media quadrants would be your social listening, your social influencing, your social networking, and your social selling. And if you can find a way to fit those four things into the time that you have allocated for your live good business and you're productive, not busy, I think that everybody will start to see even more growth in your business and as well as interest in what it is that you are doing. So Live Good Family, take that, use it to your advantage and back over to you, Ben.